so hi good morning guys welcome to my vlog this is Ireka and we are going to make a reading vlog in my youtube channel so this is a 24 hours reading vlog so what book we are going to be read for 24 hours so this is from stephanie perkins and this is entitled there's someone inside your house so i think and i know this is a suspense thriller uh, book so this is my second book from my thriller books and suspense book the first is the daughter yeah, like that so if you're currently watching me right now i will gonna put the i card above here or here for the link of my videos and review of that book and yeah so this book is really beautiful guys as you can see this is published i think um year 2017 and i bought this in national bookstore and this is on a hardbound copy actually this is only a sale guys you know there's someone inside your house and this is only sale as you can see if there is a dot on your book this is a sale in the bookstore so I think I bought this for only national bookstore warehouse so yeah and this vlog is my first time to do in my YouTube and if you're currently watching me right now don't forget to subscribe in my YouTube channel hit the likes button and click the notification bell for more video updates and don't forget to cite a comment for a recommendation books recommendation that you're going to refer with me to read in my youtube channel so oh uh, yeah let's do this 24 hours reading bug
guys, good afternoon. Time's in 5.02 p.m. And I am right here at the kitchen at the dining table. And yeah, I'm currently reading the There's Someone Inside Your House by Stephanie Perkins. And I am at page 125 right now. And yeah, the story was so a little bit suspense and a thriller. I feel boring a little, yeah. The main character here is Makani and one of her friend, not that close friend, died. And afterward, another friend of her died, and that is Ma. And two was he left. See Oli and Makani. So this is so thrill a little bit thrill but you know I didn't know if it's there's a lot of question but there's someone texting her and she didn't know who texts her you know Matt is her ex and you know there's uh, something happened between them in the past and here is Oli Oli is uh, well-known family in that uh, place and his brother is a police cop so they don't know who killed their friends but for me I I have a feeling that Oli is a killer but when Matt is died Oli was with her but and I don't know who killed but there's someone here also Rodrigo and I think Rodrigo is the cop here the the brother of Oli so scary but you know we, we I'm not that of scary just a little bit only but you know, you know we will see what will gonna happen I'm half of the book right now because is 287 pages I think 287 200 yeah 287 pages and this is for 24 hours only I hope I finish this one book for 24 hours and we will see if I will finish this for 24 hours so actually I read books 100 pages a day but if I have audio books, I can finish the book for two days. Hopefully, I'm gonna have another cell phone because I'm using right now cell phone, and sometimes I'm using my sister's DSLR camera, and I don't have yet a vlogging camera right now. I'm just using my cell phone, and my cell phone is broken. I I don't have also a laptop to make edit and cut off my videos. I just borrowed my sister's laptop you know soon I hope so so I'll be back to Manila okay, I am not independent private duty nurse so there is a company who holds me and we deployed me for my clients and I am so excited to see her again and thank you for you know hold on me for waiting for me to the company itself i'm thankful that i employed with them and yeah thank you so much and see you in later <laughs> because i will going to finish this and hopefully i will finish this one for 24 hours till tomorrow and yeah see you later guys
Hi guys! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! This is so scary and a little bit suspense. Oh my god! Oh my god! I am at chapter 14 right now and it's 9 p.m. See you later! guys I'm currently at page 73 chapter 7 on my reading blog of there's someone inside your house and it says here chronic traumatic encephalopathy was a disease caused by a repetitive loss to the head Early symptoms include memory loss, disorientation, and erratic behavior. Later symptoms include dementia, impeded speech, and suicide. Basically, it destroys your brain. Oh my god. Yeah, it's true. Some, some uh, patient in mental health suffer first experience 
uh, pagkalob ng ulo or pagbagsak ng ulo or nagkaroon ng crack sa ulo kaya nagkaroon sila ng something uh, disorder so when we say mental health mental health my mental health is okay it means that it is the status of your mental your mental yung pag-iisip mo and when we say mental disorders so yun yung mga disorders na nangyari it depends on your genes genetic kung may lahi kayong uh, may disorder na ganun it's genetic hereditary or it depends on the environment you live in guys it depends on the people people is also the environment so as what i said before you know, noise noise is also a environment like environmental i know environmental pollution so that may cause our environment not in good health not in good health to someone who heard so there is also called a trauma guys so trauma is um, experience by uh, verbal narinig mo siya na natakot ka and trauma na nakita mo na natakot ka so two kinds for me as far as what I read trauma is depende narinig at nakita mo actual na narinig at nakita at hindi mo siya nakita pero nadinig mo there are two types of trauma and trauma is uh, I, I think basically um, the basis is fear guys that's all so yeah so what is the treatment to be given for those person who have trauma I think um, iiwa siya dun let her forget it or um, harapin yung mga nangyari dun para hindi na siya matakot harapin niya yung traumatic experience niya like for example may phobia siya like for example the phobia itself sometimes it depends the person if you have a trauma and you don't want to uh, remember it at all so iiwas sila and they forget it but sometimes other person hinaharap ito para makayana nila kumbaga para malaman nila yung totoo guys so somewhat like in phobia guys so if you're afraid of snake little by little you the treatment must exposing be must expose to snake as well so if you're afraid in snake little by little you must expose to snake so that's what i have um watch in the video in the regarding psychiatric nursing about the mental health of a phobia person and if if uh hinarap mo to i think little by little um the phobia will uh you know relieve or mawawala so tatulad ng phobia katulad ng trauma ganon pag hinarap mo to mawawala sa yun guys pag nalaman mo so sometimes kasi hindi mo katulad ng trauma na nadinig mo lang guys so ang possibility niyan kailangan malaman mo kung makita mo kung ano nangyari diba pero sometimes you need to harapin yun guys para mawala yung isip mo ngayon yung takot so yeah let's continue actually the book here says that nawala na ako sa story guys her not a friend but classmate so we have classmate here na talented the name is Haley, and she died and no one knows who killed her so at first that up at first of the book they added here um pinatay siya but no one is in the house oh my god so yeah let's continue reading the book
good morning um i already done reading this book for 24 hours and yeah today the time is 9 24 a.m and yeah i'm so excited to download this vlog with you this is my first time to do 24 hours reading vlog and i'm so happy reading this book and i rated this book five star in the end wow this book is really great and yeah this is my second time to read uh, this kind of book thriller suspense so yeah that's all my 24 hours reading vlog i hope you enjoy watching my vlog this is miss is so this vlog bye bye